So, uh, today didn't go the way I planned on it. I was hoping to do uh, some cleaning in the studio. That doesn't work. Hey, there we go. I was hoping to do some cleaning in the studio and maybe uh, have a little story about that. <clears throat> sort of about getting life organized. And Anyway, sometimes things don't go the way that you plan them. And uh, today that happened. I was cleaning the studio and, well, I'll let the story tell you. But it wasn't, it wasn't fun. Disorganization. It's frustrating. I don't even know what to say. This can take up a lot of time in my day. I have two YouTube channels. This is one of them. And it's not very popular or anything like that, but this is where it all started, right here. This channel. This is what it was. Hey, my name's Wayne. I'm 46. I do this for a living. I like to do this. And my friend signed me up for this. This is the Wayne Report. New beginnings. It's a year and a half ago. This can take up a lot of time in the day. Sitting here and surfing the tube, as it were. And then next thing you know, it's 3 o'clock and i got to get things ready or finish the laundry or do something silly. And It's an endless cycle and the stress has got me. I'm stressed out. And there's this clutter over here. Let me mention this mess. We come into the kitchen, and we're in the middle of a kitchen reno. So there's our cupboards with no usable counter space. I don't even know where to start. This is the studio. Let's go to the studio. The studio. Holy frick! Look at this mess. Now I do. I do admit the bookshelf there is not too bad, but there's a layer of dust on everything. It's just. It's disgusting. I think I'd like to try and tackle this today and see if it makes me feel better. If it's a little more organized, less cluttered, that's um, what I'm aiming for. Clutter in your life can be... Clutter in your life can add to extra stress. And the clutter doesn't have to be the stuff that's in this room. The clutter can be things that are bugging you. Um, it could be just issues at work. It could be some issues with some friends. It can be anything. It's just clutter. It's stuff that sort of bogs you down and weighs you down so you can't even sit up straight. Now, I'll be the first to say I have the worst posture in the world. My goal to try and counteract all the clutter, to give me a focus, to give me a direction, was to run the half marathon uh, May 5th. Which it's November. No, it's December now. So I'm not allowed to run because a physiotherapist said no running until we sort of deal with this issue that's going on with my hamstring. So this clutter has just been building up and pressing on my head, and I don't know what to do with it. But I'm going to start by trying to organize the office space, the studio. And we'll see what happens from there. Cue the music. Done. Isn't it bad, eh? 
I'm gonna deal with that corner. Okay, um, so the battery died. That's fun. But um, I haven't made much progress here since the battery died. I got stuff all out. But I made I made a discovery. So on the shelf here, the empty one that's not clean, I have all these books. I have notebooks for stuff. This one goes back to 1999. Oh, this one, is, this one has actually, uh, what I was... Planning to go backpacking across Europe. So, never happened. Um, but I found a book that I had from when my mom got sick. And, uh, you know, it's got stuff in here. It's got goals and, you know, had to make a website for the band and playing music and stuff like that. And Anyway... <clears throat> somewhere in here it's got notes from the day that we got the call that my mom uh, was very very sick and she was in the ICU she was moved from emergency to ICU because she had a crash and uh, anyway so I, and I had some times here and stuff like that like uh, she, she had a collapse they didn't have to do CPR, um, but they did have to incubate. And uh, tests show that there's blood in the stomach and stuff like that. Uh, they didn't know where the blood was coming from. They had to do transfusion. And uh, you know, we got that phone call at uh, it was like 5 in the morning or something like that. And then uh, some notes here from the other meetings. There was a meeting at 1.30. Um, and uh, talked about blood pressures and stuff like that and then uh, that they had to do a at 3.30 they did a CAT scan to sort of see why she wasn't waking up but then they weren't too worried about it because um, sometimes people can take 24 to 48 hours to wake up when they have to intubate in, in, whatever that is put the tubes in and all the other stuff and they have a heavy dose of uh, lorazepam or something like that that's helps helps you stay calm and you know so they can do their stuff so and then we have uh, so there wasn't really a concern there was a concern but there wasn't a concern and then it goes down the list here and it <coughs> at 4 30 I texted Sue that uh, she had been changed from uh, she was critically stable then she had changed to critically unstable and uh, um, didn't know what that meant per se, but uh, that's just the road that we're going down. At 6:20, there was a family meeting. <clears throat> that's the meeting that you go into the little private room with the doctor and their families there. Luckily for this, for us, uh, we didn't know the road we were going down, but um, it was just uh, you know you go in the room, you don't want to hear the stuff they hear that you're going to hear. Anyway, so uh, it was a dead bowel or uh, is ischemia, ischemia of the bowel, and um, they were going to do a exploratory surgery and see where that, see if there's anything they could do or whatever. And at, uh, I mean, the fact I wrote this stuff down and not even knowing what was going on was 
kind of crazy and kind of crazy to look at it now, but it, at 10.30, my mom went into the OR, and at 11.45, the doctor came back up and said the bowel was unfixable. There was nothing they could do. And uh, <clears throat> 2 a.m., January 13th, 2011, uh, well, that was, it was all over. It was done. So, uh, <clears throat> my cleaning of the room, of the studio, and um, trying to put things together, uh, talking about being cluttered and stuff, sort of, I should never have looked in the stupid book anyways. I'm not going to put it in the pile where I throw everything out. I'm keeping it for now. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, before that I had found the book. I don't even know which one it is now. But I had found the book when my dad was sick. When my dad was sick and going through treatment, um, uh, with cancer and how the, uh, so many positive things. So many positive things the doctor was saying. And that's kind of what you hang on to when, when, you're faced with those situations, I think, is, uh, okay, cancer's bad, um, they're worried about it maybe having spread to the brain, so they want to do a CT scan or a CAT scan or one of those things. <coughs> and you, uh, you, you get the news back that things are good, there's nothing spread up there, it's, it's just where it was initially, and in his case it was the lungs, but they can continue with their treatment and chemo and chemotherapy and that stuff and uh, and so many of my notes were just there was little positive bits just hanging on the positives and then you know going back into the hospital and the last note I have is um, uh, for March the uh, 18th uh, he went back in the hospital March 17th and never came out and on the it was my note on the 18th was back in the hospital and that was it and I didn't know that was going to be the last one. I, I at the time, and there was no other note on there. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's not what I wanted to talk about. That's not what I wanted to uh, focus on today. And uh, that's not what I wanted to think about either. But that's kind of how it goes, right? You don't always get to pick uh, the good times and the bad times, as it were. But you got to go through them. And they make you, uh, in the end, somewhere down the road, they do make you stronger. I know that. Um, just weird. It's just really weird. I, mean, I already know I'm going to cut this together and edit and let anyone see it or not but uh, it's just though it's a weird headspace and <clears throat> it's not fair I thought I was just gonna do some cleaning and dust <laughs> uh, and I don't really feel like doing that now but um, yeah I want to have something fun to say fun huh So, but here's the worst part. Now. Nah. I'm really glad I had those books. I had those memories. I didn't always have the best relationship with my parents. But I know I didn't have the worst. Good times and bad times and all that stuff, it's, it's good. At some point, someday, somehow, everybody's got to say goodbye. And uh, I'm really lucky I kind of got to relive that again today. Anyway, until next time, this is me.